Welcome to a new episode of my YouTube tutorial on how to create a Metroidvania game in Unity. Today we want to cover collectibles, in this case a simple coin the player can collect. For that we have to add an animation, an UI interface and we will write a new script. Let us begin with the animation. Uh, for that I will use an old animation I created uh, for an old game, just the simple coin here above. So we go to our sprites folder and we can create a new uh, folder called collectibles and we will add the animation sprite here. Then we have to go into the inspector of the picture. First we have pixels per unit of 16 since each tile in this uh, game is 16 pixels wide. We have multiple sprites in this case and um, yeah, the filter mode is point no filter. This is the version you have to use for pixel arts. And then we go to, then we hit apply and we will go to the sprite editor. And now we have to split uh, the picture and the different uh, sprites. And since every sprite is 16, 60 by 60 pixels uh, wide, we can uh, set the grid by cell size. So here we type 16. 16 and we are ready to slice and apply and then we have we have uh, several files from one sprite sheet now let us uh, select the coins and drop it into the um, game we will call this animation. Do we have a certain? Oh, okay, we will call this animation coin coin animation and if we hit play we see a spinning coin. The next step is to add a UI. For that, uh, you have to create a um, canvas. You have the canvas in UI and here. Um, since we have a camera that um, doesn't cover the complete um, doesn't cover the complete screen but al always stays in a certain ratio we have to uh, use the um, canvas on the screen space not of the overlay but of the camera And the camera we want to use for that is the main camera. The next step is to add um, text. UI. Um, which text we could use here. Yeah, I will use the old legacy text um, exactly. And this will be called coin text. <laughs> now we go on the rect transform. We hit um, this icon. And now we hit uh, control and alt. And we want to select our text in above 
on the uh, left side. Now we can write to our text some simple numbers, for example. We want to stay the number in the center of the text field and uh, the color of the text should be something like white. So we can see it in the contrast. We can also make our text a little bit bigger. Maybe this. And we can set it also bold. You, of course, you can add uh, several uh, fonts here. Um, you can look it in, up in the internet. Um, keep in mind to use maybe something license free. And if we go to our uh, play window, to our game window, uh, it didn't work. It didn't work because our order and layer was too low. We have to increase the order of layer. The order of layer means just we have different layers that are on top of each other. And if our layer is below another, the number is smaller. And uh, since the UI has always to be visible, it can be a high number and that will, that will solve your problem. Also, I would maybe change uh, the uh, alignment of the text so the text is always on the right side and something like this. So this will probably look better. And if we now go to play, it works. But there is always some... Uh, the next step is to go to our coin back. We can rename it maybe to coin. Then we need uh, some collider. The collider will check if um, the player will yes enter uh, the space of the coin and when this happens our script will be triggered and um, yeah tell it the coin will make a sound we will add the sound later not today and then increase the number of coins and this will change the ui so we add a box collider in 2d and uh, since it's not um, only for the triggering, we check uh, is trigger. So, um, the next step is to create our um, to create our coin script. So, to the classes we now like start an update. We have now to add a new one. We uh, um, to add a new one. This is on trigger enter. This will be called if the trigger is entered of our collider and we will check if the object that is entering our trigger if this object is the player and when the player is entering our object we will uh, make some action uh, first we have to um, yes have to have an, we need a va variable um, this will be an integer Click in teacher points. And this uh, in teacher, this coins will be increased. Of course, we have to save. Uh, we have to save the number of coins. And um, for that, we will use player preferences. So, Player preferences um, in Unity are something like you can save uh, values with that. It's uh, relatively simple. You have one with player prefs dot get integer, and there you get the coins. And um, you will increase the coin number, and then you save the coins again and you do this with player prefs set integer coins and you uh, put the number of coins we have here 
we have increased and it will save the number of coins. If this, hap if this happens, we have um, yeah, to um, delete the coin we just entered and um, this will be a little bit complicated, more complicated, I'm sorry making some English mistakes, it will be more complicated because later we want to add sounds to the coins and um, if we delete the object immediately um, the coin sound will not be played and for that we will only turn off the sprite renderer and the um, and the box collider so you do this with just get component that will get the component you put in here in this case we want the renderer and we want to set enabled on false the same you want to do for the box collider to D. I hope this will work. Yeah, to test our script, you can also um, print the number of coins before we um, yeah just change the um, UI. We hit play. And it doesn't work well. Of course, it doesn't work since we didn't attach our new script to the game object of the coins. And for that, we just drag and drop our coin script in here. Now, the next test, we will see if it works now. Still doesn't work well. So keep in mind, it will not work if the player doesn't have the tag player. So we have to add the tag here. And now if we uh, run into the coin, zack, we have a printed value. Uh, it's the third time I tried this, so the value we get now is three. Well, but that's but that is cool. Now, uh, of course, we only have to add uh, the UI, and this will be to show the number of coins in our UI. We create just a new script. Uh, we call this. Um, coins UI script variables this will be the coins of course the number of coins here the integer and uh, public text coins text this text will be changed in the script since we don't need the start function, we can delete the start function. And in public, we only need two lines of code. We have to load uh, the number of coins from our player prefs. And then we say to the coins text, set the text to the number of coins in form of a string with a function to string. We will save the uh, script, go back to Unity. Um, then, of course, we have to attach our coins UI script to the text or to the canvas. Uh, I will yeah, attach uh, to the coins text. And then, of course, we still have to, um, we still have to uh, attach the coins text to the coins text in the inspector. You can do this also uh, automatically. In the, um, in the script, but um, it's enough for now. Then we um, start our play and check if it's working. And yes, you see the number of coins now is three. And if we 
uh, go to the coin, a change to four. Uh, now, since we don't want to create every coin manually, we can uh, save the coin as a prefab. Prefabs are very handy and I will just create an extra folder for our prefabs, calling it prefabs. And we open the folder and now we have here our coin and we just drag and drop our coin here and we have a new prefab and you can now drop everywhere coins where you want to you where you want to of course and um, then you have the first collectible in our game Here you can see it now, you can collect them. Yeah, and this is the first step. The next step is like, um, yeah, of course you still have to add sounds. We will do this later since this is for now not the key element of uh, Metroidvania. The more important key element of uh, Metroidvania uh, is, uh, is that we have power-ups and upgrades and these upgrades and power-ups enable us to reach new parts in the game and for that we need collectibles. I think like we uh, have a collectible that will um, yeah making the player able to double jump or to crawl on the walls. With double jump and crawling on walls, we can reach new parts of the map. And this is one uh, key element of Metroidvania. So we want to add this next. We want to add next uh, doing the double jump. And we will attach this to a collectible. And then the player can yeah, collect the uh, double jump power up and will be able to reach new paths in the map area. Yeah, I hope you had fun watching this uh, tutorial. Uh, if you're still watching this video, I thank you so much um, and please uh, consider subscribe my channel or check out some other social media. I have all links in my video description. Of course, the um, the assets for this game like the backgrounds or like the uh, coin coin animation uh, I have on itch.io. Uh, the link is also in the video description. Check it out. You can download there the uh, sprites to recreate this game if you like. And if you create uh, some games uh, with my tutorial, with the help of my tutorial, I would, uh, yeah, be we I uh, would really enjoy to see your uh, productions. Um, you can share it also via Discord with me. So, um, yeah, I hope we see you next time. So, have a good day.